All right, hello, my name is Naomi. I like to do art and I like to do fitness. I'm a professional neither, yet y'all insist on having content for me. So never fear, I'm here to deliver. Anyways, today we'll be going over a sketchbook tour. I've gotten that request a lot and I, I'm hoping this video does well because when I do stuff like that, it does not tend to do well. So do not make me regret this usage of my time, please. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. I have a special announcement at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Here we go. Okay, so I'm mainly going to be going through my two favorite sketchbooks, this one and this one. I will also give a sneak peek of my new one I just bought last week or the week after, depending on depending on when I decide to release this video, but just know that it's new. So stay tuned for that at the end. Anyways, let's get started. This is the older one, so I'll start with this one. I will also be uploading a silent version of this too. So yeah, here we go. So belongs to me, my middle name is Lillian. Reward if you return this, you're a good person. I put that, I thought I saw it was funny. Okay, so this is one of my OCs, Sapphire. Some Sapphire concept art. And then I think this is Kennedy, one of my OCs. This is Vance, this is Jade, and this is Lou. And this is Jade as well. This is an old, old sketch of Milo. His design has changed so much. He still has vitiligo, or the term is piebaldism. It's not vitiligo. I wanted a specifically different disease so that it would make sense that his hair would be a different color too. And that would be permanent because vitiligo can change, but I'm nerding out. Anyways, here's some concept art for him. Ooh, I think my anatomy has gotten better because this looks, this the legs are ridiculous. This is Blue, Milo's best friend. Some concept art. Oh, this is a character design I did. This is a little newer, but like when I was about done with this sketchbook and it had like run its course, I just like started pasting random stuff into it. So this was like a character design and I also write backwards. I keep saying there's a story behind it. I will eventually tell it, but today is not that day. So yeah, D'Angelo, his design has changed too. Goodness, this is gonna be like two years old soon, this book. Some designs for him. More designs for him. This is Diana. D'Angelo and Diana, they're friends. They're friends. Um, oh yeah, she's a centaur, but her base is based off of a fawn, like a deer, not a horse. I just find it to be prettier when it's like this. Lou, um, Diana, and D'Angelo art. And yes, D'Angelo is named after my favorite YouTuber, D'Angelo Wallace. His personality is meant to be similar to him too. Some Lou and Jade art. Autumn, one of my OCs. Autumn concept art. Fun fact, Autumn's like supposed to be, I think, 6'6". Six, six. She's really tall. Vance, I've changed the design quite a bit. If you've seen my recent short, I redesigned him like completely. He's based, his design is based off of, I think the singer is Billy Idol now, but this, he was just based off just like some random basic white guy, but I wanted all my characters to kind of look unique and different. Jimmy, um, his design is pretty much the same actually. He hasn't changed. I don't really have a story for him. He's just a side character. Some church doodles I pasted in. Deuce or Thaddeus. Concept art of Kennedy. Jade and Kennedy are actually identical twins with which like really different interests and backstories. They're like reflections of the two different sides of my personality, honestly. These are just side characters. They're kind of like Vance's henchmen, but yeah. Autumn and Regina. I think I named her Regina, yeah. Gina for short, they're friends. Uh, yeah, I don't really have much to say on these two. Like, they're like side characters, but it's like not that deep yet. Nothing I'm ready to release. Diana, she's just fun to draw. She actually has an identical twin. Well, he's a guy, but they look exactly like named Apollo. But like, I like almost never draw Apollo in this sketchbook. I don't think I was comfortable drawing guys yet as much. Thaddeus and Sapphire blank page sometimes if i just can't get a drawing right i just won't draw on it and i just label it in my head like a cursed page like i just can't get a drawing right and apparently these are some of those pages so <laughs> uh yeah this was a room design for one of my characters jewels 
um, as you can see, very messy, very dirty, but I just needed to design it when I was writing out my story so that I could like place the characters in correct positions and stuff. So sometimes I'll do a lot of room just to make sure that like the descriptions line up. Doodle of my character, Maya. This was a doodle of her room too, same thing. Maya and Jules are friends. They're both in middle school and they meet in middle school. They'll eventually get together, but that's like later on down the line. It's like really far, so yeah. Another picture of Regina. Ooh, I like this picture of her. Uh, this is really pretty. I forgot I drew this. <laughs> I forgot I drew this. <laughs> Levi. He's not in the universe that my other OCs are in. I have a fantasy universe and a sci-fi one. He's in the fantasy. He's a werewolf. Sapphire. Some more art of her. Kennedy. This was like a doodle. It's not really canon or anything. Uh, as you can see, I am working on designing my little bit more. His face just changes a lot. This is one of my characters, Chris. He's in the Maya and Jules story. And Jules is a boy. He's named after my favorite author, Jules Verne. I felt like I should mention that. I don't really, I don't think I have any pictures of Jules in this book. I might show one for reference so y'all know who I'm talking about. <laughs> but he, um, he's named after my favorite author, Jules, Jules Verne. More design art for Thaddeus. He has four arms. He's meant to have a dad bod. He's kind of just like the grumpy uncle type. This was, oh, I'm gonna have to add her, but this is my friend's OC, and then this is my OC, and we did a collab together where we drew the both of them together, so that was fun. Which is interesting, there's like not much color in this sketchbook, really. The pages were a little too thin for that, as you can see. Kennedy is another design for Chris. This is a little older. I don't really like the way he did his eyes in this one. Another design for Chris. He eventually grows to be 10 feet tall. I just like drawing tall characters, like, it's so fun. Oh, this is something my dad drew. I don't really think he knew what he was doing either. I don't really know what he was doing, but <laughs> yeah, it's a duel he drew. Oh, this is the friend group for my story. So this is Maya, this is Rose, this is Bianca, this is Andrea, and this is Simone. Maya is like a little on the nerdier side. Maya and Rose are kind of nerdy in different areas. Rose is better at mathematics, or excuse me, Maya is better at mathematics and things. Rose is better at like reading and things like that. Bianca and Simone are meant to like rival each other they're both in sports but like different types of sports bianca's more into volleyball cheer and like what else dance simone's more into things like track flag football things like that and then andrea is just kind of like i guess the quote unquote mom figure of the whole group so yeah oh here is a picture of jules okay so this is jules and then this is, this is going to be a sketch of Bianca and Maya. I think I might've finished this one digitally. I can't remember. And then this is Maya's little brother. So, Jade and Lou. Lou is a guy, by the way. Sometimes people can't tell if my art is like guys or girl. Lou is a guy, he just has long hair. Cause like, it's just so, it's like I me mean, with eyelashes. Like it's just fun to draw. There's no deeper meaning behind it. I promise I'm not that deep of a thinker. Here's Apollo. This is, if you remember Diana's twin brother. So, yep. And then Autumn and Thaddeus, they are not a couple. They Thaddeus is like a father figure to Autumn. Let me just make that known right now because like some people just go overboard with shipping and I am not for that. But yes, they are, she's meant to be like, I guess a daughter figure, he's a father figure to her. This is Jimmy. I wrote backwards. I was like so impressed. I have not been able to replicate myself writing backwards this nicely. I don't know what I was on. I must've been like really sad because usually I produce the best art when I'm sad. <laughs> um, this is Bianca and Chris. Chris is Maya's adoptive brother, I think. This is in the sci-fi universe. It'll make sense when I explain my universe, but I am too lazy to do that. <laughs> so yeah. More Regina art. I decided to make her a little more heavier set. She's a power lifter, so she's not meant to be thinner. I just feel like there's different ways to be healthy and people don't recognize that, especially like with different body shapes, especially like black women that are heavier set. There's, she's just really meant to be strong and solid, not a little more like cut like I am. There's just different types and you know, that should be represented. Autumn and Regina eventually become friends. This is just some practice doodles. I really didn't like to draw on the back of pages in this one, but because the pages are so thin, it would just bother me. As you can see, planning a dad bod for Deuce or Thaddeus. I like Deuce, like I just like that Deuce. 
I wish you could see my face when I said that. Jaden Kennedy. I think this was a cursed page. I couldn't get anything done on it. D'Angelo. As you can see, his design is changing. Doodle. Ooh, I love this spread. Oh my gosh. I drew this when I was like really sad. Uh, if anyone has followed me, you probably watched my intro video and you know that like art is very therapeutic for me. So that's why I was saying earlier, sometimes when I'm sad or just have a lot of emotion, the best type of art gets produced. And this was one of those times my dad's best friend had passed. And that was really sad for me because we he was like an uncle to us. So that's what produced this drawing. This is a vampire. I haven't really named him or anything, but he's definitely a vampire. <laughs> and he will mess up your life, so. Uh, this was like a concept for a story. It never got fleshed out. I don't think I'm gonna use these designs, so it's up for grabs. This was just doodles. I think I was drew this to tease my brother because it's supposed to look a little bit like Steve Urkel and I drew it to tease him, so sorry. <laughs> doodles. Doodles. People say I draw animals like furries. I don't know. Doodle. I actually might finish this one because this still holds up. The reason a lot of these aren't finished is because by the time I like got motivation to draw again, my art had improved so much it didn't even make sense. Oh look, here's Jules and Maya. This is when they were in middle school. I really like this design of them. Doodle. Legs. But doodle. It's so funny. I just really like drawing legs. Like especially like I feel like women's legs are easier to draw than men's. It's so fun to me. This is when I started experimenting and drawing in color. Like now y'all see some of my art and it has like color in it <laughs> and like as a base, I guess. And this is like where I first, first figure out, I was like, hey, I can like actually use these pins to draw with color. So here you see me experimenting with that. I really like this design. I think this is like a rough, I was going to redesign Deuce's face, but I decided to just stick with the one I had. So this will probably be used for something else. And this was a concept for a character that never got fleshed out. Ooh, this was an old design, or not an old design, but like a possible redesign for Diana, but I just decided not to do it. I love to draw eyes. So as you can see, eyes. It bled through, so it didn't bother drawing on this side. Doodles, Jade, Kennedy, I, I don't know. <laughs> Here's an eye, cat. I think this was a doodle I did during church. If there was like a spread of doodles, I was either in class or at church, especially if they're like not really cohesive thoughts. Cohesive, bleh. Especially if they're not like cohesively thought out. Blue and Regina, I. <laughs> okay, so this is where like a height chart I made. Uh, because Chris ends up being 10 feet. This was Maya. She only gets to be 4'11". She's kind of based off of my younger sister, who's like also pretty short. And then this is like another character, Nubs, which is right here. And yeah, this, so this was me like comparing their height. This is Ellie. If you watched my more recent videos, you would have known I did a draw with me with Elias, but his name is nicknamed to Ellie. So yeah. This is just a doodle. Like I said, I was experimenting, starting with just drawing basically just with pens and colors. Cause I don't like coloring my art, but I liked having color in my art, if that made sense. So this was like a loop around that I had. This was my friend, oh wait, I skipped the page. Oh, it was a curse page, Never mind. All right, this was a OC of my friends. This is not my original character. Um, this is a side character. Her name is Uriel, but with a U, not an A. She has red hair. She looks very similar to Ariel from, I guess, Disney Princesses, but I changed the first letter of her name to U. So it's just a cool little, I guess, quote unquote Easter egg. Oh, this is a friend. This is a drawing my friend did of me. This is one named Lee Spike. Yes, it's like reverse of the movie director Spike Lee. I just thought it was funny. Um, He's not really based off of him, it was just literally the name. But yeah, he, uh, his design, side character. Two more side characters, Luna, who's like a fawn, is that what it's called? Yeah, and then Dodo, which looks like a phoenix, but he gets called Dodo, so side characters. Oh yeah, this is Luna up close. I forgot I had her design. I might sell the design, because I don't really have a use for her. This is some more Dodo, just sketches. 
Again, you see me practicing drawing with the colors and the pens. This is Kennedy. I actually like this sketch of her. I think I was gonna do something with this. I never finished it. I might. This is not bad. I think I could still salvage that. <laughs> cut, cut and paste it. Some doodles, probably at church. I definitely think this is a church. This is like one of my favorite eyes that I've drawn. Like, it's so pretty. Some Lou concept art. This is a little comic strip I did with Maya and Lee Spike. But he, um, I think this was like when she was in college. I was just experimenting with how side characters would interact. But yeah, I actually like this one. Concept art of Lou, copy pasted from my toned gray sketchbook, which if you've seen my videos, I don't know if I posted it yet, but you'll know that I have drawn in a toned gray sketchbook. So sometimes if the whole page looks bad and I have some drawings I like, I'll just copy paste it into here. Not copy paste, cut and paste. Oh my gosh. Dodo concept art. So this is what I guess Thaddeus and Autumn would look like if they were like normal humans. Um, it's supposed to be coded. They're coded as black people. Oh, not that one. <laughs> That's an inside joke. <laughs> that one was. Side character, his name is Monty, based off a of golden retriever. This is just a friend group I made up for him. They're kind of like based off people I saw around me. Some other concept art. I think I put these on my story and just had people vote on which one they thought was like the most good looking. I need to start doing that again because that is funny. Doodles, eyes, and then like I, what I did was this part of the book was drawings. This part was church notes and it was supposed to just like meet in the middle. So I guess this is, I guess where it met in the middle. So you see I drew a bunch of eyes, concept art for a side character, Nubs. I like his character. He's supposed to kind of be like the, is the word antithesis or just like the flopped version of what Chris was in every way, shape, and form. So that's him. And I was just kind of like designing how he would walk and move. I don't usually do that, but his shape is obviously so different that I was like, I need to map this out. So I've decided that, oh yeah, here's him hopping. <laughs> but I've decided that he like hops. So yeah. Concept art from Maya. Oh yeah, okay. This is another D'Angelo sketch. He was gonna have a Jerry Curl bot. I'm so glad I decided not to do that. <laughs> but okay, so this is Blue, this is Milo. They end up being a friend group. This is just kind of their heights. I really like this spread, it's actually kind of cute. I might color this and make it a poster, but I need to change his face. <laughs> Some doodles, as you can see. Oh, I started drawing like animals again. I really like, I used to draw a lot more animals when I was younger. If I find an older sketchbook, I'll do a tour. So yeah, this is just some animal doodles. This is blue. This is like him actually colored in. But yeah, he's based off of a Maine Coon. People think he's like a wolf, but if I did a wolf character, I feel like it'd be a bit more obvious. He's based off of a Maine Coon, which is why he's so big, because Maine Coons are big. Maine Coon is a type of cat, for those of you who don't know. If you can't tell, I used to be an animal nerd, so a lot of that kind of gets put, ouch. So a lot of that kind of gets put into my drawings. Just some random hot deer I saw on Pinterest and size draw. I don't think I'm gonna ever use that design. That'd be a cool t-shirt though. I really need to make t-shirts. <laughs> some sapphire doodles. I think these are like blank pages. Sometimes I leave blank pages in the sketchbook. So if I want to copy paste, which you'll see in my newer sketchbook, I've just been using the blank pages to copy paste. So that's why there's like a chunk of blank pages. So let's skip that. Uh, trying to figure out the structure of a character, but he never got finished. Church doodles. So you can see, whoa, I really like this one gonna have to come back to that look at that that's actually a really cool design ah okay gonna have to come back to that one and this is when i like first started writing in fountain pens so i'm gonna start from the back and work my way up because it's kind of backwards so church notes church notes oh yeah there's my and lou this is when she was like high school or not lou excuse me chris this is when she was like high school eyes this was like one of my first like most popular posts that had to do with eyes on instagram it's like because i do fitness obviously sometimes it's really hard for me to get my art stuff to trend so this was like one of the first times i posted art and it actually trended look i did a gojo eye 
doodles. There's a lion. I don't like draw lion. I used to draw them all the time, but I don't draw them anymore. Church notes, doodle, doodle, church notes, church notes, doodle. Church notes, doodle. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Ooh, this is when I drew Jessica Rabbit. For a prompt. Doodle, church notes, doodle, doodle. Oh, I was real distracted this sermon, apparently. <laughs> There's Sapphire, a doodle. There's an older picture of Maya. And then these are like some concept arts I did. I was just like discovering how to use a fountain pen because I got some for calligraphy, but I was like, I can still make this work. So I eventually figured out how to use it, but here you see me just experimenting with it. Church notes, doodle. Ooh, this is what back when I was like really into sketching with my pilot pens. I don't really use them anymore unless I need to like write. Church notes, doodle. I don't know why we're upside down. Oh, cause I'm left-handed. I prefer to write on the right page of stuff. So that's probably why. Yeah, these are all church notes. Oh, there's a doodle of Maya and her dog. I think he's gonna be a Rottweiler. Um, oh, if I could talk Rottweiler Great Dane mix. And this, I actually, I, I, don't, I don't know if I'm gonna post it yet, but I have a redraw of this character. So stay tuned for that. I liked his, his design, so yes. Okay, doodles. Oh, wow. So it's pretty interactive for me. I don't put much effort in stuff like this. So there's some eyes, some doodles. Snouger, I actually have two miniature snougers. So this is just like based off of them. It's a cat. I never owned a cat, but I would have loved to. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Oh wait, there are a few more doodles. Okay, my bad. I don't know why I kept this page. Oh, sometimes when I draw, I'll put a page in so it doesn't bleed through to the next page. I like Moleskine, but the thing is their stuff is like really thin sometimes, their paper. I don't know the term of the other sketchbook. Lucia term, I don't know, I, I can't. I, I'm, I only speak one language, I'm a dumb American. So yeah, but. Their, their pages are thicker, these ones are thinner. Just not a huge, huge fan, but it's okay. Eyes. Doodle, cat. Yeah. Doodle, I was just doing with the church pins, so I didn't really expand much on the drawings. I think I was drawing some animals. I had like originally made some animal friends for Maya's pet, but I decided against it. This is Kennedy, Jade, and Blue, and D'Angelo. This is like kind of the height difference. I was practicing and doodling character dynamics. Some early designs for Elias or Ellie. He's a side character, I don't know if I mentioned that. There's Maya, older, probably in her teens. I, I like that design. I don't know how I'm gonna use it. Yeah, I think that about wraps it up. I think there's one more major drawing in here of a character named Charlotte. There's some more eyes. I did, I used this and I did a challenge where I drew the other eye of all of them. It's an old video, I need to repost it. Yeah, these are doodles. I wanna find other one. Oh yeah, I can write backwards, I will. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned that. <laughs> Curse page. Ooh, this is pretty. I think she was gonna be like an elf or something in my fantasy universe, but I never like got around. I haven't fully fleshed that one out yet. I'm focusing on one thing at a time because I will mess it up. Sketch of Apollo. I don't even know if y'all can make that out, but there's like his rib cage, his torso. He would be sitting down. There's his head, those are his glasses. Candy concept art. Just some animals. I, I can't, like I said, I'll draw animals every once in a while just to ensure that I don't like lose that skill. I don't think I ever would, but raccoon i don't think i've ever drawn a raccoon like that's just not an animal i enjoy drawing <laughs> the funny thing is i don't even think they're ugly i just don't like drawing them uh concept art for some of kennedy's friend groups okay this is like the last main drawing this is charlotte um she's meant to be like the younger sibling of one of my ocs he's not in this book he wasn't created at the time that i like was drawing this book oh i drew my friend's dog as a person he really liked that yeah about it i taught someone how to draw an eye and that about sums it up yeah this is just me drawing people from church oh i guess that doesn't sum it up i guess i have more doodles wow my memory is not good today okay 
a doodle from church. Uh, I have no idea who she's supposed to be. I think I was just purely bored. Yeah, doodles. I was showing someone I knew how to draw muscle. They didn't believe me for whatever reason. Okay, yeah, all right, we came full round. That concludes that book. On to this one. This is like a pen and ink book I found at Michael's and I got it because I knew the paper would be good for my ink joy pens and my fountain pens. Just for like, it's mainly supposed to be just pencil or not pencil, it's mainly supposed to be not for pencils. It's, I just wanted to have pen and ink in this. Nothing more, nothing less. So here we go. There's a lot of sideways drawings. So there's that. These are doodles. A lot of these are like doodles and character ideas, but no actual like fleshed out concepts. I'll specify when they are. This is when I started getting into sketching with highlighters. Tattoo design I did for my friend. I ended up taking it digitally and putting an afro over it. Yeah, so you can see this is another design of Nubs. He, um, or this was when I started like sketching with highlighters, like I said before. It looks cool under a black light. Uh, this is just a side character, nothing really important. Some Kennedy concept art, side character practice, side character. I want her to be a main character. I just don't have a story for her. I usually draw a character, have a bunch of them just ready. And then when I'm ready to make a story, I'll just pick for my rogues gallery of character designs. <laughs> That's how I do them. This was based off of the vibe of my roommate. It doesn't actually look like her, but it's based off the vibe of her. Her name is Nyla. I don't think I would ever make her a character. I just think, oh, I love the way I did her hand. I just think I'd make this a poster and sell it. <laughs> Luther and someone said I couldn't draw a twink with baggy pants. So I drew a twink with baggy pants. This was on Discord like a while back. Bia, just a fun little, this is when I was like drawing from references more. As you can see with the poses, I started drawing from references more. And I actually did the same with Nyla too. More of Luther. He was originally gonna be, his name was gonna be changed to Geoffrey, but I decided to keep it as Luther. I think this was like, I was gonna change Lou's design, but decided against it. Thank goodness, cause this, this is not, no. I thought I could do graffiti and I could not. Early concept design for my OC Leo. Cursed page, cursed page. Vampire from my fantasy universe. Some later designs for Regina. I think I might take her hair back to short or I'll make this a wig, but I want her hair to be shorter. All right, this is another early design for Leo. He's pretty similar to this. He has four arms and four ears, but I don't like how dark this looks. I think I need to make it a little bit brighter. I don't want him to have like dark, dark fur. I had my followers name this character, side character, probably won't use him. It's a lot of effort though, but probably won't. And as you can see, this is when I figured out that I could sketch with alcohol markers. Like this is when I figured it out. It was specifically this drawing right here where I figured out I could sketch with alcohol markers. Leo, size difference, just, he's supposed to be eight feet tall. So size difference. This is a size guide, not a couple. I just needed to see like how his, the proportions would lay out, if that makes sense. Practicing drawing from references. Oh, the shading on this one actually wasn't that bad. I don't like when I shade. I was gonna make a comic strip and lost motivation. <laughs> Chris Page, also bled through the back. Messed up drawing of Vance. Yeah. Oh, this is me and my dad just designing some stuff. This is his drawing, this one is mine. Starting to figure out that I could draw my ink joy pens with colors. You guys actually probably may have seen this video. I think I posted this one, but yeah. And I have some more pages to fill out with this one. So yeah, but not that many, so I consider this pretty much done. All right. Now for a sneak preview of my new sketchbook. Here we go. Opening it up. So I think I've only done like one or two drawings here. Not that many. 
So I started out doing him. I recorded a video then realized I did not like his face. So pasted over it right here and I'm working on redrawing it again. Um, what I will say is I did use some of the, uh, my old sketchbook to paste in like I was saying before. Concept art for Leo's younger sister, Charlotte. You can see I used like Marilyn Monroe as a reference right here. I feel like if you use Marilyn Monroe's reference, you would recognize that I do that pretty decently. Or a lot is what I'm trying to say. And then Blue and Milo working on their like more recent designs. That concludes my sketchbook tour. Okay, so you have made it in video. If you have, please comment to dog because dogs are cute. But also, I need you to comment a heart if you were interested in this idea. So I thought it would be cool to redraw you guys' OCs in my style. I've seen that done before and it seems to do well on YouTube and I'm trying to look out for ways to branch out my long form content now that I have AdSense. So if you're interested in that, comment to heart and I will set up a place where you guys can volunteer your OCs for me to redraw and I think it'd be a really cool way. Anyways, that's the end of the video. So if you have any questions, let me know. I don't respond to drawing requests. That's just not what this comment section is really for. You can do it. I'm just not going to respond. No hate though. But anyways, have a great day.